The collapse of FTX is nothing new. While this situation is painful for shareholders, employees, and account holders, in the long run, it does not change this industry's promise. And Kevin O'Leary joins me live now for more on this. Kevin, thanks for being on. I know you were a critic of cryptocurrencies before investing in FTX. So what changed your mind? And, and what was it about FTX that won you over? You know, I guess lecture a lot uh, in many colleges and universities. And what I started to see happen, and a lot of these are graduating cohorts of engineering classes where about a third of them are going to be entrepreneurial. That's why I do this. And I slowly started to see that the majority of the class the, the ones that were really great coders wanted to go work on blockchain. And at the same time, the regulatory environment was changing. It was getting more open in jurisdictions like Canada, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, et cetera. So it, it occurred to me as an investor, you can't put this much intellectual capital to work and not expect incredible outcomes. And so the hottest hands over keyboards today work on the blockchain and crypto technologies. And that's as a result, I've become an investor. When things change, I change. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fiduciary. I have to go and decide where to put capital to work. And certainly I look for new opportunities. This is like being able to invest in the Internet in the early, early days. Now, Kevin, you defended Sam Bankman Fried after FTX's collapse. And you even said that you would back him again if he came to you with another opportunity. Why is that? And has his arrest changed your thinking there? Well, I, I said that before there was any allegations of, uh, of all of these nefarious activities. But my point is, for the last 15 years, I have often invested in entrepreneurs that have experienced catastrophic failures, and I will continue to do that. Now, regarding Sam Bankman fried he has to clear his name. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. Nobody does. Clearly, he's been charged, and we're, we're beginning of a legal process. Obviously, I can't invest in that. But my point is, entrepreneurs learn from catastrophic failure. And for the ones that are able to come out the other end 